Hey guys, so today I thought I would show you guys how to do Twixter in Sony Vegas Pro 13. I get a lot of questions about how I do Twixter in my edits, and it's hard to explain through messages how to do it, so I thought I would just make a video, you know, explaining everything I do step by step so it's like super clear, and yeah, I hope you guys think this is helpful. Um, so I just have a, uh, the first episode of Wario no Seraph open because I'm gonna kind of show you what I did to make this edit. <laughs> Because I really like how the Twixter turned out on that, and I think it'll be easier to show you through something that I've already done. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete the audio out, because we don't need that. And I'm going to find a few clips that will work well with Twixter, and I'll meet you back in just a second. Okay, so this is the clip that I'm going to show you how to do Twixter on. You're going to want a clip that doesn't have too much movement in it, and the frames are kind of similar to each other. So in this clip, he's moving, but there's not much movement happening. Like, the frames are very similar to each other, there's not a bunch of movement going on, so it, the frames won't have a hard time blending together. Something that wouldn't be good is something like this, because he's so, like, the frames are so different from each other, you know, he's this far away from the camera in this frame, and then he's so close up in this, and these are just not going to blend well together. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put Twixter on the clip, and to do that you just click this little icon, and you go over and find Twixter. I use Twixter Pro, I'm not really sure what the difference is between Twixter and Twixter Pro, but I just use Twixter Pro. Uh, you're going to click Add and then click OK. And so here's where we need to change stuff to make it work with anime. Um, so I have my preset here. So you're going to leave the things up here alone. Uh, you're going to change the speed to somewhere around 6.8, the frame to around 23-ish. Uh, if you're working with a higher frame rate, then you're probably going to want to move that up to whatever your frame rate for the video is. Uh, track quality, best. Motion sense, 100. Image prep, none. Opt flow, checked. Frame, whatever, enter, is blend. Warping, forward. Smart blend is checked. MP compass is zero. Uh, mark, seg, whatever, is cut B, and then you're going to want to leave the start frame and the last frame alone. So after you have the settings, um, this is where a lot of people mess up because they put in the settings and it still doesn't work and they're confused and they get frustrated, but I'm going to show you how to make everything work. So now you're going to want to right click on the video and go to properties and go to disable resample. This is really important and it's really important that you get your clips from somewhere like Kiss Anime or... Um, you know, another like actual anime site rather than YouTube because on YouTube some of them are already rendered with the uh, resample enabled so it's going to throw off the clip and I'll show you what this does. Okay, so this is not the clip that we're using for the Twixter but I'm going to show you what the resample is. See how you can see two of Farrah's hands right there when it's supposed to be a clean frame like this? It, um, when you disable the resample it gets rid of this blending between the frames and if you don't get rid of that it really messes up the Twixter and gives you like a really weird unclean look so you're gonna want to um, disable that. So now what you do is hold control on the keyboard and you're gonna get this little message that says time stretch. You're gonna click the end of the clip and drag it all the way in until you can't go anymore. After you do that let go of control and now you just have the regular time event end and you're going to want to drag that back out to where you had it. And when you drag it out, it might show you um, in the preview different frames that you're not working with, but that's totally okay, just leave that alone. So now after we've added the settings, disabled the resample, and sped up the clip by stretching it in and then pulling it back out, you just have to let it load. Now I usually make it a little bit smaller so it doesn't have that much to um, load and it's about the size clip I'm going to work with. And I just let it load by letting it replay in like a small area over and over again until it comes out clean. So there's your Twixter and if you want to mess with it a little bit you can. It's I like to go in between and kind of find frames that will blend well together. Um, these blend really well because there's they're very similar so you just get something like that. Um, to speed up the process if you're doing this with a lot of videos you can get another clip that is, that's going to work well and you can right click and copy this and then right click on the other clip and click paste event attributes. So that's going to make this clip have everything that you've done to this clip. So it's going to have the sped upness, the twixter, the settings, everything. 
And when you're letting it load, you can kind of go in here and see what frames you want to actually blend together. So maybe I want like these frames right here to blend. So I'll make it start at that one. You can kind of get more precise like the closer you get to it. So here's what that one looks like with the Twixter. It's really smooth. This one worked out really well. Um, so now I'm going to show you what it looks like if you don't, if the scene isn't a good scene for Twixter. So in this clip, I this is a horrible clip to use for Twixter, and I also don't have the resample disabled. So it's this really foggy, you can't even tell what's going on, the frames are blending in such an odd way, and it just doesn't, it obviously doesn't look right. So that's basically it. Um, when you, to add effects to it in transitions, I usually render it and then go back and just get those clips because it takes a lot less time to load. Also, when you do render, it's going to take a long time, and that's completely normal, and that's just how it works. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll try to answer them. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned something, and thank you for watching.